I was uh, born on a dairy farm in central New York, in uh, the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York. And um, my, grand my grandfather started the farm in the Great Depression. From as young as I could remember, um, I worked on our farm until I was 27 years old. Um, and at that point, I decided, you know, there was something else out there waiting for me. And uh, when I went to college at Hobart and William Smith, I really started taking some, some really good formal art training. Um, you know, teaching you the basics of uh, composition, and, um, color and value, and color theory, um, and, and um, it was it was a fantastic training. Looking back at it, and that's when I really uh, got into art. Yeah, it, it took me to dentistry, and then then to orthodontics, and I, um, and with orthodontics, I, I found something that could uh, really bring together, you know, sciences which I was really good at, and art that I really loved and, um, and blended the two together and, and found the perfect profession with orthodontics. My, my grandfather was a legendary for how hard he worked. Same with my dad, just the hardest worker I've ever known. Um, and so, yeah, ever since we were young, that was just been a value of ours. And, and, and now that, you know, I'm running my own practice, um, you know, that's one of the strengths of, of our office is I'm pretty much always available to my patients unless I'm like out of the country, you know, on vacation or something. But, you know, um, I'm always on call, um, you know, 99% of the time, um, you know, I stay after, you know, to see emergencies, you know, we stay late, we work so many hours. People are like, yeah, do you live here? And I'm like, oh, this is so easy compared to being a dairy farmer. You know, you just wouldn't believe, you know, so I'm so happy to be an orthodontist. And um, I've always been into art. Um, and I mentioned, you know, from early on, you know, and I loved the way I was raised, but I always knew there was something else out there for me. And, and part of that was, you know, I, you know, you could always find me, you know, drawing, you know, dinosaurs and bugs and insects and planes and jets and, and things like that. So I was always drawing and sketching. If you look at a lot of my paintings, there is, um, you know, they're landscapes, but with with farm animals in them, so I think it just gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know, painting cows. So last year I went to Cape Cod and painted with a with an artist that I really, really respected and um, learned so much. You know, it's, it's one of those things, just like orthodontics, you know, you just keep on learning, you know, your entire life. Um, and, and I believe that. And, um, and I teach the national board exam to, to um, to candidates that want to become board is certified every year. Um, and, I, and I stress it very clearly to them, you know, this isn't for you to go out and say, you're a better orthodontist than the guy down the street, because it's not. Um, what, it, what it's for is, is to make you a better orthodontist than you are right now. Okay, it's, it's to improve yourself. Becoming board certified in all these years of, of teaching the board certification course, um, I've become just a, a multiple, multiple, multiple times a better orthodontist than I was before I became involved uh, with the board certification process. I'm Dr. Dan. I look forward to meeting you and welcoming you to our orthodontic family.